With all of Marvel's films besides Doctor Strange still in production, the assumption was that they wouldn't bring much to show this year at Comic Con, but Marvel still did bring some big news to Hall H. You remember Thor and Hulk were notably absent from Civil War earlier this year, and it looks like we'll get a reason for their absence. And from the sounds of things, it really sounds as if it's going to be an interesting one. In case you haven't heard, the highly popular comic run Planet Hulk will be adapted within Thor Ragnarok. And this includes Hulk donning gladiatorial armour, which was shown at Comic Con, helmet and all. It's also been said that we're getting a Thor who's covered in war paint and has also had a little bit of a haircut. Attendees were treated to a nice little short documentary about Thor and how he moved to Australia to avoid civil war and moved in with a regular Joe called Daryl. This seems like a hilarious little video that they've created in order to fill the void from the fact that they've literally just started production. But attendees also got to see some fully formed footage which is exceptional at this stage in production. In this footage they got to see Thor and Hulk facing off inside a stadium. They then get to see Hulk leaping at Surtur, the fire giant destined to bring about Ragnarok. And we actually finally get a look at the logo and it's very 80s and very nice and shiny. Moving on from Thor, we get a full cast list of the Black Panther movie, which is directed by Ryan Coogler and is set to come out in 2018. We find out that Michael B. Jordan, who you'll remember from Fan Stick last year, is revealed to be playing Eric Killmonger, who is going to be the big bad for the film. And he will be aided in the fight against T'Challa by Lupita Nyong'o, who plays Nakia, and Anai Guerrera, who you'll remember from The Walking Dead as Michonne who'll be playing Okoye. This looks like a really strong cast and I can't wait to see what Wakanda looks like in the film. Next up, we get to see Spider-Man Homecoming and it's clear that this is set after Peter Parker returns from the events of Civil War back to his normal life of being a school kid. And this is new ground for the franchise as this character hasn't been played by a teenager and hasn't really been shown as a school kid. We find out that Tony Revolori will be playing Peter Parker's bully, Flash Thompson. And this is a great addition to the cast, as he was amazing in the Grand Budapest Hotel. We also get a great look at Michael Keaton as the Vulture. So things are looking great for the movie, which is out next year. For Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, it was known that Kurt Russell would be playing Star-Lord's non-human father. But we didn't actually know who he would be playing, as it was announced that Star-Lord's father wouldn't be Jason of Spartax. Well, that was until this weekend, where we found out that Kurt Russell will be playing none other than Ego the Living Planet. So that raised a few questions. Like, how can a planet have a child? I guess we'll have to wait until May 2017 to find out. As well as all of this, we get to see a newly updated logo for the movie and it looks fantastic. As they were wrapping up the panel, they decided they'd get everyone together for a nice big family photo, but they felt that it wouldn't be appropriate to not include the newest member of the family, Captain Marvel, who will be played by none other than Brie Larson. Now this is a casting which people have been speculating about and they've really been expecting something from it, but it's great to finally have it out of the way. But it's also interesting that the Captain Marvel movie won't be released until 2019, which is quite a long way away. And it also brings up the question, will Captain Marvel appear in another Marvel film between now and when the standalone film is released? So what did you think of all the MCU news that was released at San Diego Comic Con? Feel free to comment down below with your opinions and questions and anything else you want to talk about. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything Marvel and superheroes in general. And don't forget to check out all of my coverage for this year's San Diego Comic Con. I'm Chris and thanks for watching.